Hi guys, this is Klazar from the new commentary, and this time I'm commentating on the MSL round of four, the semi-finals. This is game three of the best of five series and Quanro is up against it. His back is against the edge of the cliff. He is just standing at the precipice and all that needs is a little push from Irish to send him tumbling down. And Quanro is going to have to play his heart out here. This is going to be on Outsider. We've got Quanro in blue at the 12 o'clock position. Iris at 9 in green. And Outsider is a map that uh, Zerg players have had some success on versus Terrans recently. Terran versus Zerg is about 40% on Outsider. So um, Quanro does have a slight advantage here, although Carthage also was something uh, like 44% for Terran versus Zerg. Uh, and we all saw how, how that ended up. Uh, the statistics don't mean anything if you don't give yourself a chance. And uh, I don't really feel Quandro is giving himself a chance here. Thus far, he's been playing very aggressively, over-aggressively in my opinion, and leaving himself vulnerable and coming unstuck because of it. Um, I feel Quandro has just been getting a little bit ahead of himself. It's like he's lacking some confidence, guys. It's like he doesn't believe that he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Iris and triumph. It's like, it's like he feels... I, I, I know he's a player with naturally aggressive of tendencies as is, but it's almost like Quanro feels he needs to um, do something extra and do something special to beat Iris, and it's and it's very reminiscent of that series where where Bisu versus of Bisu versus Iris uh, in the previous round, where even though Bisu would be the favorite player and the player that you expected to win, and you would have expected Iris to have to do all the crazy things and all all the uh, innovating, uh, it was actually Bisu who was going for the more aggressive strategies and going for the crazy maneuvers, and uh, it was Iris who just won playing standard and holding his defense, which is not what you would have expected from Iris in the past and that's why I feel that Iris has really run out this game this season and he's really having a fantastic season. I mean, he's made it to the finals of the GOM TV Star League. He's now uh, one game away. He just needs to win one of the next three games to be able to make it into the uh, finals of the MSL and, and have a very good chance in the finals because Jadong's out. Uh, and it looks like uh, Quanro has gone for a 12 hatch build. Iris actually hasn't gone for that typical 8 racks that, we, that we've seen from Terran being used to counter the, the 12 hatch from Zerg on Outsider, uh, and, and usually a 12 hat Zerg is, is very tough to break down on Outsider if they, if they do things right. So Quanro, if he just plays standard here, should have a chance. And I think Quanro needs to show a little bit more faith in himself, and Quanro has gotten that drone in there, he's going to be able to harass Iris' SCV. Luckily for Iris, though, he is in Toss Girl, so he's probably not going to lose 5 or 6 SCVs to that drone. Iris, meanwhile, looks like he's putting another Supply Depot down there to block. And that's clever by Iris. Again, Iris is doing all the little things right here. He's scouting at the right time, he's putting the blocks in, and uh, it was quite inspirational what Iris did in Game 2, actually, where he uh, decided to build a command center as, at his choke when he saw that 9 pool from Quanro uh, and that was a brilliant ca counter and, and he won the game comfortably in the end because of it although uh, although he won the game earlier than he would have expected with that sunken break I think he would have won the game regardless had the game uh, game gone on longer. Iris uh, continue to mine gas right now, although I think he's only got the one SCV on it. I'm not sure who those fans are that have been focused in on the audience, but they look like they're having a good time. And why not? This has been an exciting series. I think the fans, uh, especially any neutral fans, will be hoping for a Quanro victory here, because uh, otherwise the series would have been all too short. Iris putting that factory down. Uh, continue to mine only uh, with the one SCV. Continue to mine the gas. We might be seeing uh, a command center go down relatively, uh, relatively soon for uh, Iris. Quanro, meanwhile, uh, mining his gas as well. Uh, he hasn't uh, tried to block his ramp and prevent. Uh, Ar Sorry, Quanro hasn't tried to block Iris from getting up that ramp at all. So Iris is going to get that SCV and get that scout in and know exactly what Quanro is doing. Uh, Quanro now starting up that lair. Um, we might be seeing potentially two hash mutas from Quanro here. Iris starting up that starport. That's an interesting uh, building to go for there. Starport for Iris uh, going down straight away after that factory. Uh, and of course, uh, starports are important in this game, uh, in, on this map on Outsider, because uh, turn players need to prevent Zergs from taking that double gas early on, they need to kind of prevent Zerg players from getting map control and, and spreading and giving that booming economy. But it is difficult to do that because Zerg player, uh, and it looks like we're going to see higher distance, we might be seeing um, again lurkers from Quanro. I hope he doesn't do what he did the last time around where um, he committed himself purely to hardness. That proved disastrous from him. Uh, although in this case, I don't think Iris and, and Quanro uh, cleverly using a drone is not able to stop that SCV takedown. Although in this case, we're not going to be seeing, obviously, a medic and green build. We're not going to be seeing the... Um, Bio build from Iris. Iris now having that well, first launcher out. Quanro does have uh, Sunker down, so he should be able to deal with this relatively comfortably. And he does have that um, overall as well, so he's going to see that vulture coming around. Uh, Iris is trying to keep that vulture, uh, and yeah, Quanro is definitely going to see that vulture coming around. And he should be able to defend against this com comfortably. He's got a couple of hardless in play as well. So, uh, it interesting choice of strategy by Quanro to, 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 to take that hardless first, uh, because Iris with that starport, if he gets a couple of dropships out, he should be able to stop uh, Quanro from really getting those expansions. And Quanro now starting up that. Uh, uh, Spire as well. Uh, so I guess the uh, Hydros were perhaps just a little bit 
good choice early on. He just wanted to build a couple of them. He's not really committing himself to them wholeheartedly. Uh, and now uh, Iris has got that forced rate out. Again, I'm not sure how effective that rate is going to be. Um, but I guess again, it's going to be it's going to be good uh, in stopping Quanro from trying to get that double gas expo out, which uh, if he goes for, uh, Iris should be able to thwart him in that. Uh, but I feel that yeah, Quanro, if he plays standard, I feel he's got the ability to go to toe to toe against Iris. He, he used to be a player who was a bit of a glass cannon who would who would empty all his shells, and then if, if he managed to close in, he would be an easy uh, easy defeat in the mid late game. Uh, but he's really rounded off his game recently and and has shown some pretty solid late game Terran versus Zerg play. Uh, and and I think he need, if he shows a little bit more faith in himself, which he's, he seems to be doing this time around, I think he'll have a good chance against Iris, and he really needs to, uh, to do that, he really needs to pull this game out, and it looks like Quanro is taking the expansion at the 3 o'clock position, the min only there, uh, Iris can just scout around with that Wraith, he's surprisingly not taking that Overlord down, that's just hovering around his face, he's very keen, I think, just to try and make sure that Quanro isn't sneaking a double expo somewhere, that's what Iris is keen to thwart, and that's why he's committing that Wraith to just scouting primarily, rather than taking those Overlords down, which he's had an opportunity to do, again, ignoring the Overlord yet again, I guess perhaps he might be afraid of those uh, Hydras. Now the Hydras coming down, two Hydras along with the Zergling, and uh, Quanro should be able to save this Overlord. Uh, Iris is going to be forced to run away with that raid, taking a few hits from the Hydralisks. Um, Iris, meanwhile, has got his natural expo up and running as well. He's getting those turrets up. Quanro's Spire should be up by now, but Iris has already got that science facility out, so he should be in a good position to defend against any Mutalist harass coming from Quanro. Uh, he should be able to get that irradiated up. That Spire is up for Quanro. Quanro's now got those Mutalists out. Uh, he's going to head in, and I'm not sure how effective this Mutalist harass is going to be for Quanro. Quanro does have a couple of um, Scourges there, critically as well. Iris with three vultures hanging outside Quanro's base, and I, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if Iris actually left those vultures there intentionally just to qu draw Quanro's fire, uh, because he would want to delay Quanro from coming in uh, with those mutilists and give him uh, that much more time to get his defenses up. Uh, although, of course, uh, you don't, really don't want to lose those vultures. Uh, another, another um, ploy might have been to have those vultures in there to, to try and run by in uh, once. Uh, Quan removed his mutilists out of Quan uh, and, and you can see Iris with turrets everywhere. Quan not able to get in there, really to do a lot of damage. I, I think he might have lost his scourge as well. I don't really see the scourge in there. Uh, but Iris has got those turrets very well positioned. Quan is just not able to get any attack going at Iris's economy. Uh, so Iris comfortable uh, for now, uh, getting his build up and running. Uh, meanwhile, uh, still uh, continue to put some spider mines down around the map just to make sure he keeps Quan at home. Uh, with those vultures. Uh, Quanro, however, uh, has pulled back with those The critical thing is Quanro hasn't done any damage to Iris' economy, but I, I still feel that both players are in a decent position. I don't think either player has a significant advantage, uh, even though um, Quanro hasn't been able to do too much damage with those middle He has got that third expansion up and running. Uh, he's got a decent economy going. Iris, however, has got those uh, science vessels out fairly early on, but he doesn't really have anything to support them uh, because he did go for those raids, and Quanro was... Uh, he did go for that raid, and he didn't really do much with it. Um, and he doesn't really have an army on the ground as to speak of. Iris is playing a very defensive game here. He has practically zero ground army. He's now putting that second racks up. Looks like he's now finally transitioning. And I'm not sure what Iris was doing there. He didn't really put a lot of factories down. Now Iris would the irradiate and Quanro with some really poor um, separation. Taking a long time to get that Mutalist out of the bunch. Taking a lot of damage to his Mutalist. Once again coming around trying to check out and snipe uh, an, a science vessel perhaps as it pops out. Uh, but Iris has no ground army to speak of uh, and is just playing a purely defensive game with turrets uh, and a bunker. Now he's put that second racks down, put that academy down. Now he's going to transition into a bio build. Uh, and and it's a, it, I have to say it's a weird sort of game that Iris has played. You're not getting that, that um, siege tank out, but uh, he's still going to be able to perhaps make that mid-game push against Quanro. But Quanro, meanwhile, is taking that double expo at the 3 o'clock position. Uh, and, and the longer he holds that, the stronger his position in this game is going to be. Um, the Berserker Terran. It has to be said, the Berserker Terran isn't really doing a lot of berserking. And again, a great irradiate from Iris catching Quanro, and Quanro taking a lot of damage. Uh, his entire Mutalist force has been decimated here. 